Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his doors would be in danger. Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> What would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tucker, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurra! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. Oh, a smoke yes. break. That's good. Don't rush it here. I see. <clears throat> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well. You're the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. You you people accepted me and, and I, uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Feed them, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. No, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me. What the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's nonsense gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. 
Well, I too. You seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. You've got to be careful here. See? Yes. Don't rush it here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. See, he used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here, quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then, we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius, at the Skatina, had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I... I didn't know. 
Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! I'll stop it already! <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tucker was mad. Ah, uh, uh, it's a long story. The colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Come on, out with it! Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> Artyom did most of the work! <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the Vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself! Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. He all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A trick. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. Thanks to Tokara, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Milnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. Uh, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire, and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Mitchell, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? 
Tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why, why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected, especially after the news you just heard. <clears throat> yes. Well, say there is a government. So what? We spent so many years apart. So why worry now? But don't you see? They probably knew nothing about us. With the sheer power of enemy strikes directed at Moscow, they never expected so many of us to survive. And now, now we, we get to, get to tell them Moscow still lives. And not only that, it also preserved a functioning civilization. Do you get that? All these years, we were fighting a losing battle for mere survival. And now, and now we have a new goal. And what would that goal be? You don't get this, do you? The command center should have all of the command and control networks. All the intelligence. They should know where all the nukes hit. Have complete fallout maps. They have everything. Information rules the world! And Metro is chock full of people! Put two and two together, we could repopulate the country! Yeah, of course not at once. First, we might have to take the country back. But we'll be doing this under the direction of a real government. People with all the necessary skills! And in the end, we will break out of the underground dead end we are in. Uh, it would be nice, sure. By the way, I meant to ask for some time now. How did you learn about the Yamantau Bunker, Colonel? Oh, the information about the ARC project I have is beyond a doubt. I'm saying this as a GRU officer. I have colleagues working there, preparing evacuation plans. So I've been briefed into it officially. So, 
Now we just have to get there. And we will. We will. The journey won't be easy, though. <laughs> we were never looking for an easy way. Yes. I've been thinking about that for a long time. The Central Industrial District, a priority target. Gatia did confirm my suspicions. The tracks might have survived partially, but the state they're in now is most likely terrible. I think we'll have to fix sections of the track. I think our people can handle it. Besides, I'm sure there will be side tracks. What do you think could have happened in the relatively intact territories in the meantime? That's a good question. Well, we are going to learn it pretty soon. Yes. Yes, that, that we will. We are approaching the Yamantau Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We'll do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. 
Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Look at all those cars. Batyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Oh, no, 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 I don't know, to, so th this is a bad place, now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Thank you. Look. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. nothing Comrade Minister Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces Squadron of the City of Moscow Colonel Miller reporting I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you?
Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, <coughs> now! <coughs> Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of I'll hers. tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Burn this time to a ashes! A long time since we got Now we'll be full again! Good. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Ready! <laughs> elevator on the sun! ETA, we get them in cover! Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold out for that long!
chop. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Uh, Idiot, mm. you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Empty. Totally empty. Nothing to eat.
But there was meat. Meat, you see? Meat got a... Oops, he's dead.